Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Karek, so we're continuing on with our Song High playthrough with the Origins DLC for Europa River Solace 4. Focused on adding a lot of flavor to Africa, and Song High has quite the quite the mission tree here. We've been working through it at a good pace too, actually, I feel like. Um Army professionalism is something it really wants us to bump up too, and it wants us to build a lot more workshops and uh, Oh, just as Ten provinces. Oh, it wants to, yeah, workshops. Yeah, that'll take, that'll, we're still a little technology wise, a little ways away from that. In fact, workshops are the next admin tech. We're going to need to figure out Renaissance before then, most likely. A pretty good leader. Um, we're not making so much money. How much are we pulling in the gold now? Barely anything because the autonomy here is probably just atrocious. Well, the autonomy is probably atrocious because it's not even a, uh, it's not even a state yet. So, um, this is going to be a good way to make some money in stating this. And next month, the autonomy there should update. We probably want to dev this up a little bit too, to be honest. I'm going to hit that button a couple times because this is our gold province. Okay, so we have a, we, our allies asking us to join a war over here. That looks like Nup's going to be involved. I mean, who's all involved here? Holy cow. Uh, that looks worse than it was for a second, but... Hmm. We kind of wanted... We were about to declare our own war over here against these guys, because it turns out that these guys really don't have much going on. <sighs> I like the fact that we were joined there, but you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll kind of... We'll tiptoe around with this war. These guys are at Tech 3. Come on, dude. Stop declaring wars when you guys are behind on technology. Oh, man. Thirteen thousand troops. I really want to do this war first, though. Fine. Oh, we have our vassal too. That's right. Okay. Well, hmm. if we can engage these guys here, sort of like a quick battle right off the bat, I'm. No, not even with that maneuverability. Okay, fine. I'm going to keep working on what I want to work on. Our ally can do whatever they want. And we'll pseudo support them, I guess. Well, we're catching him here, but unfortunately, it's another situation where these guys are going to arrive early. running off to. <laughs> I guess they're coming back this way to Dahomey or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, this war's over. And the truth is, I really only want this province because it's the only one I have a claim on. Oh, they won't accept this right away? Oh, we, we gotta get, we have to take their capital. Oh, okay, fine. What's our three siege guy? We'll put him there. It looks like the enemy's mostly leaving us alone, so that's kind of nice. We don't need to pay for that capital fort. The capital fort will stay, right? There's still going to be a garrison here of a thousand, no matter what, because it's our capital. But we're going to not pay for the actual extra fortifications because they're not going to. 
They're not really going to come up and bother us. Still one tech behind us. Or do we end up getting six? No, we're still at five. I don't love the fact we're about to just lose a bunch of manpower for no reason here, but I just, I don't want them sieging down our land if we can help it. Oh, they slipped by. We don't have our good, uh... We don't have our guy with Nikes. He's down here. In fact, this, this leader of this army group is not great, actually. But you know what? Their person isn't that great, either. Oh, we actually have paper down here. That's an interesting resource for that area. Papyrus, maybe, or something. I think, honestly, this is really all we want. Like a really simple, basic war. Oh, I think the idea was to attack these other nations. While that war was going on. Eh, we're fine. Whoa, they're coming at us? Did they just get another tech? No? That's a huge amount of troop loss for nothing. Just lost 2,000 men there. At least. Okay, would, would Oyo even join this? Uh... Yeah, they still would, but it looks like... They've dropped their guarantee over here. Benin would join, but they don't have much going on in Benin. Benin does have that fort, though. They have an actual proper fort, but it's down here. It's not going to inhibit our movement, really. Yes, let's get these guys into a position where these guys won't be so wiggly. And they got a three maneuverability person there, so that's something. I don't really know what we're doing here in terms of winning this war that our ally got us into. That colony is done. Beautiful. If we were to attack Morocco, Tunis would not... Oh! Morocco only has 3,000 troops. I think we need to... They only have 3,000 troops. They're getting completely sieged out. We need to attack Morocco. We have to attack Morocco. The question is... Is there going to be, like, a line of sight issue? Like, can we navigate against a war target? Can we navigate into Terra Incognita? This is going to be bad. <laughs> this is probably going to be bad, but we need to get into this war. Uh, these 2,000 troops are going to get there way ahead of the mercenaries because the mercenaries are going to be going super slow. Actually, you know what? Mercenaries, come over here and try to end this conflict. These 2,000 troops here you can come over here and help with that. These are actually the guys that I'm going to send. Which will be 8,000 troops. Um... But I'm going to get them with the proper general and just send them on up. Now, 
it looks like the war ended, so Tunis presumably, they have no allies or anything like that, but presumably Tunis is, um, they're going to, they're going to be, well, they're going to be building up. I, yeah, I don't know what's going on now. Take this back. We need to get everybody up here. They will they will build up an army here. What is their force limit? 18,000. They have no manpower. They're going to try something. I promise they're going to try something. Their military tech 6? What does that give them? More military. Ooh, okay. Oof. Um, they have a pretty good general too. They have a really good general. Not quite as fast as our guy, but better shock. Pretty good siege. Yeah, this is going to be a tough war, but I think if we can get anything out of them, if we could just get these two provinces, it'd be, three provinces would be better than nothing. And they've lost their fed. They've lost fez. I thought Marrakesh was actually a fort fort, no? I don't know if they have a fort. I think I thought they had a second fort fort somewhere around in here, but it's not in Marrakesh, huh? Free stability, I like it. Come on. Morocco's literally okay, okay, we're in trouble. Mercenaries, right? Offensive won't even give us like an immediate benefit. Quality could give us 10% army combat ability. Quality? Before offensive? Faster siege ability is really a convenience. It is an amazing convenience, but that's really what it is. Um, discipline. Their prestige is probably in the tank too. Actually, it'd be interesting to look up army quality comparison here. Our morale is actually higher. Their discipline. Um, we have higher tradition. So, so technically, despite the fact that they are well, they have better, slightly better units. We have the infantry combat ability. I don't know what they have. Just as like a default naval force limit modifier, may raid coast. Okay. It's a little bit antsy, but I think quality, which quality is just really good, anyways. I think we're actually going to go quality so we can get that right away. That. 10% infantry combat ability. That's 15%. I don't know if that actually applies to mercenaries or not. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It's not good. Hey, we, we need to we need to get out of this war. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, have have fun, buddy. The tr truth is, our ally might get completely eaten because of that, but that's just how it goes. Having these rebels here is kind of a problem. However, interestingly enough. Segu. It looks like they're going to walk off of our land here. They're not um, Timbuktu separatists. Once we get this, we'll at least have the Wargle. I don't know how much more we're going to be able to advance from here. We might want to sit on here because it is the... But we don't want them really getting through this way. Are we paying for this? We are. That's probably a good thing, although I doubt Morocco is going to charge down here. Yearly prestige is probably worth it right now. That does tie into combat ability. Um, if we had corruption, we could get rid of it. 
Don't care. Truces are expiring. Yep, makes sense. You know, we probably could build a couple buildings while we're just kind of hanging out. Let's keep some money in the bank, though. Yeah, we need we need Jenny to come and support. Like, what's we need we need him to support what's going on. Oh, will it let us actually walk this way? Here, let's see what happens. Because we're at war with them? This is Sunni? Sunni as well. Those should go pretty quick now. And I'd like to be able to take care of these rebels really quick and then focus on Morocco, but... I guess I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on here, like... Morocco has 13,000 troops. We have better quality than them, right? In fact... 5% more discipline above them now. We're making some good money over here, I'm just now, now noticing. Oh, what the what the heck? Okay. Well, if you want a base race, we can do that. Although this is a little bit annoying down here. Look at this 9,000 down here. This That's kind of a problem here. Um, however, I'm not worried about it. Because we're going to be on their capital here in a second. Their capital is not even a fort. I swear they had a fort somewhere around here, though. But if their whole army's back over here, I guess we could just move. Like, keep strolling, keep moving. It's taking a lot longer to move through the sun terror. I wonder if that applies to them, but it doesn't look, it sure doesn't look like it. Is this owned by Portugal over here? Looks like it is. Funnily enough, I don't even we don't even need this amazing general up there. We need this amazing general down here now. We're we're gonna try to resist and push back Morocco over here. I mean taking their capital and sieging out their entire country here is gonna be a lot more impactful than Whatever random junk land they're doing over here. If they got down here, we could actually provoke re rebels on top of them, but... Ooh, that kind of hurts. These guys are going to need to come over here to help with these potential rebels when they're going to pop up. 12,000 Moroccans. That's basically their entire army. 
We got a thousand somewhere else, though. Level 2, 50% cheaper. Discipline advisor. Booyah. Of the Jewish faith. Pretty cool. We're actually probably going to get to take more from Morocco than I originally thought would be possible. In fact, since it's taking so long to do these areas, we probably need to split the stack. Are these guys actually going off into the fog? It looks like they are, so they, they do know, like, they're intelligent enough to know that they can go up that way. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, even though they're one tech ahead, they're not really challenging us, I don't think, in a fair fight. And I don't know if mercenaries are just intrinsically weaker, because I know a lot of the uh, Moroccan troops are actually just mercenaries. So... And they've sieved, uh, uh, sieged literally nothing of value, really. Um, meanwhile, their entire country is about to be sieged out here. I'm just gonna take a minute to get uh, to get their capital down. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! If we're literally just gonna race them. We probably should have a really good siege person up here. I swear they had a fort over here, but I guess I'm just making stuff up. That looks like that's owned by Tunis, maybe? I mean, I don't know if they still own little bits up here, but Portugal took a bite out of Morocco. That much is for sure. Interestingly enough, we could literally get a border with the with the with the ocean here. That's kind of nuts to think about. Marrakesh has fallen. Saying eighty percent. I mean, eh, how is this not a hundred? They must have Tangiers or something still. Oh well, I guess they're getting some points for all that. Okay, what could we do here? Portugal doesn't even know who we are, so there's no aggressive expansion that we can gain from this. These are all Sunni bits of land. It's costing us literally no. So the aggressive expansion is is non-existent, right? The Diplo is, it's free Diplo-wise. <laughs> like, holy cow. That's kind of insane. And Portugal doesn't even know who we are. Like, I don't know if they will know who we are when we take this land or not. I don't know how that's going to work. That is kind of crazy. Portugal's not going to care at all about us taking all this land. They're going to... Portugal's going to want to kill us. That could seriously be a serious problem, but... This could backfire. But you know what? Let's go big or go home. It's going to be extremely hard to manage all this land up here. You know what? Go big or go home.
Although what I'm thinking is if Congo would ally us, if Congo would know who we were, we were and ally us, that would be very helpful. Because <laughs> having some kind of deterrent would be really useful against Portugal, who technically still doesn't know who we are. So I don't think they can really... They want our provinces pretty desperately, but I don't think they can really do anything to us at the moment. Maybe they can. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, this might have been the worst possible. Yeah, this this was bad. This was bad. I mean, we need to we need to like learn about the Ottoman stats so we can ally them or something. I mean, this is this is bad. Or Tunis? Maybe Tunis would be our buddy. If we're bordered to Tunis right here, you'd think that maybe I don't know. I mean, come on. Yeah, I think we're going to end up doing this. And power 90%, that'll take forever. We might have made a big mistake, guys. We might have made a huge mistake. I mean, technically, we're bigger than Portugal, but Portugal plus Spain? Castile, Spain? Like, Aragon? I mean, we know that Aragon and Castile had the union, right? Oh, man. I mean, they like Spain might just be like, who the heck? Song High, never heard of him. You know what I mean? That might be what happens, but here's another issue. Portugal's on Tech 7. We're on Tech 6. Now, did we get any renaissance by doing this? Didn't we see some renaissance spreading? It was spreading in Fez. Now Portugal owns Fez. Oof, we're in trouble. We're in deep trouble. Hmm. So, uh, okay, so a new... Talking about the caravans, how we're going to deal with the caravans here. Be able to protect the caravans from da uh, dangers that none of the other options could. Skilled warrior will be up for the task, but could create additional conflicts. Lewis prest yearly prestige, but honestly, I like it. Seems like that's the one that's going to protect the caravan the most consistently. I don't know exactly what benefit that'll be. It seems like if we can protect the caravans, that'll be a good benefit on the back end. Um, so we're we elected like a, a a foreigner, I guess to to. I think it's it's someone from like Arabia or something. I don't know what caravan is talking about a caravan this way or. National and res a national tax modifier for 10 years. Oof. Maybe then we'll move towards legalism. Um, a mysticism a little bit there. Huh. Well, we're making good money. Our manpower isn't great, but it's not terrible. We probably could afford a couple more. You know, honestly, yeah, we just need some more troops and stuff. Dang. Okay, well, sneaking a war against Morocco and taking a big chuck of land up here was definitely not what we were expecting. Um, now, that mission, how much of this do we have to conquer? Earn, own 15 provinces. We have 8 currently. Don't we have permanent claims on this region? Don't we have permanent claims on this region? What is it talking about here?
Maybe they're not permanent. Maybe they're temporary. Or maybe the region's actually larger. Maybe we have permanent clumps here, but the region includes like parts over here and stuff. I'm not sure. Alrighty, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching another episode. This is going pretty well, but uh, we have definitely angered the beast in Portugal. For sure, right? Portugal is going to be a serious problem. Um, they're working on their exp exploration. They're allied to England and Castile, but these are not discovered countries, so I'm, I'm kind of fingers crossed that that's going to um, slow down their ability to attack us somehow. I don't know. We don't really have any good alliance options ourselves until we can get, like... Even Tunis just got slapped around by Iberia, so I don't know what that's going to do. We need, like, France to help us out our Ottomans or something. Mamluks, right? <laughs> we need to discover the Mamluks. That would be nice. Something like that, guys. We'll see. We'll see if we survive this or not. Um, thanks, everybody, for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode.